Hello, this is Dr. Rick Hofer. I was asked by some people to show how to use Microsoft Word or some other software to create a logic model. So I'm going to show you in Microsoft Word how to do this simple, um, simple logic model that you see on the screen. Uh, one thing I just I want to just show you, it has um, arrows going from one box to several boxes and then several boxes leading into one box, linking, linking, up, and then down. So the arrows are important because it shows you the flow of the logic. All right, so this is a program I've just totally made up out of my head called the Increasing Grant Writers Access to Skills Program, or IGASP. The problem it solves is high-level grant writing skills are available only to top-level big nonprofits, leading to the same few nonprofits getting most of the big government grants. All right, let's see how I put this together. So let's start with a new document. All right, the first thing we want to do is switch this from being uh, portrait to landscape. So uh, you may have a different version of Word than I do, but, you know, look around and see because all of these functions are available. So we go to page layout, orientation, and we want to go to landscape so that we have more room. Then you can type in some words here. Um, I don't remember exactly the name of the program, so we'll just type that, and then the problem. Um, grant writing skills are not even the Okay, something like that. But you all know how to type in Microsoft Word, so that's not really an issue. So what we need to do, go to Insert, and we are going to go with Text Box. So click on Text Box. doesn't matter what kind. So uh, we are going to start along the top with Resources. Let's see. Resources. Okay. And what you're going to find is that copying and pasting is really handy. So this is not a Mac. Don't ask me about Mac. But yeah, I'm going to do a control copy and control paste so that I have several of these. Okay. So naturally, I only need one that says resources. And then this one could be uh, activities. This one can be outputs. This one can be short term. Okay. And you can resize them. So then we move these where we need them, like that. You highlight them, grab them, and then short-term outcomes. All right. Control copy because okay. Now when you control V to insert, you don't see it. It's because it's laying right on top of the old one. All right, so far we're just creating a bunch of boxes, text boxes, and moving them around. And this becomes medium, and this becomes 
Okay, I'm not going to get too fancy, but you, you can get a lot fancier than this. And have different color boxes and things like that. All right, so that's your basic shell. All right, we're going to save this as file, save as demo of logic model. Okay. All right, this is going to be so boring to uh, watch, probably, but there, there you have it. Now we just need to. Do the same thing, boxes and boxes. And that was a control and a paste. So we got um, all the different resources, such as you can have these as separate boxes, but for simplicity's sake, see, we're going to need um, students, we need staff, we need space, uh, resources. Those are kind of generic res uh, resource that you that you need. Resource, call that money. Okay, and then we are going to paste in another box, and the activities are going to be like teach course. Base to base. Okay. Paste. Uh, teach course online for CEU. And then one more time. to have some outputs and we, again we're going to make this as simple as we can control paste and then you've got short-term outcome uh, or the output is going to be uh, and we're going to lump these together quizzes quizzes completed Has taken proposals. All right, just some kind of basic things that would fit into any kind of teaching environment. Okay, so I'm kind of fiddling with this because it needs to be a little skinnier. There we go. Okay, short-term outcome is a, a, a short-term outcome is a, or any kind of outcome is a different is a change in knowledge, skills, attitude, things like that. So in this case, we're going to have the short-term outcome is knowledge of grant. Improved knowledge of grant writing skills. Okay, we're going to save this. Save every now and then. The medium term outcome Okay, so all I'm doing there is copying and pasting. Alright, and then the medium term outcome is um, Let's see, what did I call that? Apl application of concepts. Okay, so con 
concepts are successfully applied. Okay, and then the long-term outcomes. So we had two of those. And the first one was more widespread knowledge. All right, so this is not a perfect logic model in the sense of the logic itself, but I'm just trying to show you how you put one together. All right, now what we don't have are any arrows, so we need to go back to insert shapes, and here's an arrow. So we want to have an arrow here. Okay, and now let's Copy that and uh, paste it. And you need to grab the little end of the arrow and move it. And then we're going to paste another one. Okay, you see that one leads to all three of those. And we got another one going from there. We need three of them to go back to all of these outputs. Control V. All right, so this is not really very hard, is it? It's just a matter of paying attention to details. Of course, it helps that you have your logic model written out by hand or some other way so that you know what you're doing. It takes a while to figure out a good format for it. And sometimes you have to rearrange things, and that's all right. It's all a process of learning. Here we are. We're almost done couple more arrows. All right, it's kind of fun once you get used to it. There you go. There's a logic model made in Microsoft Word of the iGASP program. Let's, let's go back and see what that stands for. Increasing grant writers' access to skills. Okay. Well, I hope this has been helpful. And you'll notice that um, the the ultimate outcome down here, the long-term outcome, is the opposite of the, of the problem. And that's always a good thing. Okay, And the way this problem is written, there's more than one solution. Uh, and uh, so that's good. Anyway, hope this has been helpful. And let me know.